Hey, hey, and welcome to this video, my love. My name is Nina. Prepare. Now it gets weird. I am the founder and president, not really, but self-proclaimed president as I'm going to put in all the work of this island of Noki. Noki is a brand new island located in Italy and it is supposed to be displaying what the future of Venice, the Italian city, would look like if it was to dry up. So um, I'm very, very excited to dive into this beautiful video with you today. You might notice that I'm a bit strange because I have been recording this over a couple of times, this voiceover, um, because my mic keeps glitching out. So I'm just praying that it's not gonna happen again. Um, so without further ado, I think we shall just flop right in, get our hard hats on and start grinding, shall we besties? Alrighty, so, for this island, I decided that it is time to get painful again. So we are going to lay down all this in-game pathing. We might do this for a majority of this island again. I know that I said that I would never ever do this again because it did cause me a lot of physical and emotional pain the last time that we did this. But I think it's just gonna fit a bit better with the theme that we have going on because for this entrance, my vision was that we would have a little dried up riverbed. I'm not really sure if that's the correct term, but we will just go with that because um, I have no other term to use. So it's a dried up river or riverbed and it's gonna be surrounded and kind of framed in by these rows of houses for which I'm going to be using the storefronts and the medieval building sites because I think they just go quite well with the Mediterranean vibes. And before we head a bit farther in, Sheldon decided that he, on top of everything that has already happened today, had to give us a disease, which I'm not really sure what it is, um, but I'd rather not. So thank you so much for understanding. For the buildings, I tried, or and for the color palette in general, I tried to go with more neutral tones. So we were using a couple of brown shades and then we will have some whites and some cream, co cream colors. We will also be using some oranges because they are on the little roof shingles that the, um, you know, medieval building sites have. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. And we will be also using a ton of green mums, which I can't wait to be using because I haven't used them in a hot titty minute and I want to use them again, you know, because um, it's, it's time, it's time. We'll also be using a couple of the ruined arches and ruined um, pillars in all kind of shapes and sizes because they are broken ones. So, you know, all of them. And because I think it ties in quite well with this like soft Mediterranean vibe that I'm trying to go for for this island because it's not only, I, I don't really want to only box myself into this whole um, dried up Venice vibe. I also want to be a bit more experimental so we will be also having some influences of just European countries in general like more Mediterranean ones, primarily Italy but maybe also some influences from other countries and like villages that I see and I might also try to recreate one of the um, Italian like mountain villages that have been abandoned because in preparation of this video I also watched a couple of documentaries about Italy and like followed photographers around that try to ph photograph those little villages in the mountains that have been abandoned due to people being cautious of um, earthquakes and stuff so and um, there were quite some pretty images and like bits of footage that I've seen and I tried to I, I think I want to try to recreate some of that in, in, in Animal Crossing I'm not really sure how exactly I am going to do that because this is Animal Crossing and it can be a bit difficult to um, create mountains but we will do our best and um, we will prove everyone wrong right yeah sure anyway how are you my love I hope you are well I hope you had a better day than me so far and you didn't have to record five times to get a video and a voice about. I really hope this is working now because if not, I might scream. And because it has taken me so long to record this voice, so you will get another unedited Nina. So I hope you will enjoy that. It's also a short one because for the entrances, I never really go in with a plan. I try to like feel out the theme as I go and like I never plan any of my builds, but especially with the entrance, I don't really have any kind of inspiration on my island to go off of. I kind of just have a real life inspiration picture that I usually have at the side of my other screen and I try to like kind of recreate some of that and take inspiration from it. So I kind of had to feel this theme out as I went. So I did cut out a lot because I did tear stuff down again and again and this would have been way too long and way too confusing to follow 
with no real structure and no real benefit for you seeing me try out these things that didn't work out in the end. So I only tried to keep in most of the bits um, that will actually stay in the build or that will help you understand as to why I didn't make certain choices. For example, right here in front of the rest services building and like at the back of the entrance build, I guess, I wanted there to be a bridge to bring across the you know whole vibe that I'm trying to display of this being a dried up river. So I thought it would be nice if we had a bridge leading over it, even though I'm trying to hide the little water bits that we have to have, sadly, um, with like items and a fence and stuff later on. But I thought it just helped to like bring the idea across a bit better. And I was initially gonna make this a four towel wide bridge so that it was perfectly symmetrical with the entrance of the rest services building but it felt a bit too big especially since I decided to go with the brick bridge I would usually go for the stone bridge but I felt like it would be too harsh of a contrast between like the softer cream color so I decided to go with the brick bridge and since you are going to be led over to the left of this bridge you're not really it doesn't really seem too off-centered to be honest because it is kind of a diagonal path from the entrance to rest services so i don't really mind it being asymmetrical plus i don't really love asymmetrical builds that much anyway at least not doing them myself so you know we're all here for a bit of spice and a bit of symmetry symmetry asymmetry jesus christ help me please please <laughs> It's been a day, besties, it's been a day. But yes, we are now starting to plant some flowers. As I said, we're gonna be using a ton of green mums because I just love them so much and I need to use them again. I haven't used them in so long, apart from my offline island, my like spring island that I'm still currently working on. Where I'm using a ton of green mums too, but I haven't used them on my like channel, like my content island islands kind of. So I really wanted to bring them back because they look so pretty and I think they do complement the oranges and browns quite well that we're going to be using and still feel sort of natural without adding too much color which is exactly what I'm trying to go for because I feel like I want to keep this fairly realistic and I close to an actual abandoned place so I want to have a lot of greenery of growing stuff and then obviously also some flowers and I felt like the green mums just help it to keep the color palette quite neutral but add in a little bit of color um, apart from the white flowers because I feel like only white flowers are a bit boring and we've done that a couple of times it's pretty, but we want to have some spice, you know? So that's that. And now we are on to decorating and actually detailing up the sides of this build with items. I did try to focus the items around the buildings because obviously I didn't really want to have any items in the actual river because it wouldn't make that much sense. You would probably only have like some trash there. I might add in a couple of scattered papers here and there, but I'm not too sure yet. So I didn't do that just now. And if I do catch some sea grass kind of bits i might also flop those in because those would obviously work quite well in the actual river so i might also do that and at the back here i felt like i just wanted to, something to fill in that space you will see it from the front there was a bit of a gap so i tried to fill this in so as you can see i, I didn't record all of it for some reason i think it was just too fidgety so I kept like pausing and unpausing the video and I just forgot to record it but it's not that much of a big deal that I did have to re-record it because it's basically just two castle walls in front of a cliff and then on top of the cliff we have a castle um what is it called tower in the middle and then two medieval building sides to the sides of it so just so that it fills in the space a bit better we're definitely going to tear that down again once we get to you know decorating a bit more around rest services but I'm not really sure what exactly we're going to do around that so I wanted to just fill it in for now as a placeholder kind of so that it feels a bit more complete so I thought that was a nice compromise you know and um, apart from that we are just going to be sprinkling some more finishing touches items here and there and um, then that's actually it already this is also why it's such a short build is because I didn't use that many items like I played more with like having an open space compared to what I usually do I love me some clutter but for this it just felt wrong to have it too cluttered um, for the like pathway kind of and I did really like the idea of having like the dried up river as the path because in Venice um, I've never really been so this is going to be a product of like pictures I've seen pictures that my mum has shown me that she took when she was actually there and my own imagination and creative freedom so don't come for me anyone who lives there and um, this is going to be a product in Animal Crossing so it's not going to be an exact recreation obviously but I 
felt like, like in Venice, I'm not sure if you're aware, but you can actually get around on literal boats on those like water streets. So I thought that would be a nice little idea to incorporate. So it would be nice if we would actually get around on the river and walking on the river where you would have, you know, been on a boat to ride around the city, which I thought would be quite nice. But um, we are already nearing the end of this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this build. I um, really hope that you have a lovely rest of your week and a wonderful weekend because it has flopped upon us. So if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a like. I would really much appreciate it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You can also turn on post notifications it's if you'd like to be notified whenever I post a video or when I go live. I will be live on here on Tuesday or if you'd like to tune in on Twitch, I will be live tomorrow playing on our other um, abandoned kid core island of chickpea so if you'd like to tune in there feel free to my dear take care of yourself my lovely until then and bye bye